Hey guys, Nora Rebel here. Uh, so this week I wanted to talk about uh, coming out autistic during your job interview and in the interview op- process uh, and the journey to being openly autistic at work uh, because it can be a minefield. Uh, first, I want to say this might not be right for everyone. Um, there are just some situations where uh, unfortunately, for one reason or another, it just may not be safe for someone to be openly autistic uh, because there are still um, plenty of stigma and misinformation out there. But those of us who are able to be openly autistic, uh, it's important because we do need to correct Uh, that misinformation and just by existing and being honest and open with the world we have the opportunity to do that um so I wanted to share with you about uh, me uh, being openly autistic during my job interview process Uh, so you may not want to disclose maybe in the first round of interviews I would say second round or later in the interview process might be more appropriate Uh, and that is because of the unfortunate uh, amount of misinformation that's out there unfortunately you know when you mention to an employer uh, I am autistic or you know you mention I have a disability I need accommodations their mind may jump to, oh, is this person working in my um, company going to make my job harder? Is it going to be, you know, is it going to be difficult for me to uh, hire this person compared to someone else? Uh, And that's, it's sad, but it's, 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 it's a harsh reality. Um, And so, you know, when you do uh, in your interview process, come out and say, I, I need accommodations to be able to do uh, my job effectively. Uh, When you say it just like that, it's just like you're you're only asking, you know, this is what I need from you. Uh, I try to lead with, okay, you know, this is this is who how I show up to the workplace. This is who I am as an employee. This is, um, you know, these are my strengths and what I can do for you and your organization and your team, but in order to be able to be the most effective and efficient employee, uh, these are the things that I need from you. And then I make my ask. I'm autistic. So for me, that means I have sensory processing differences. I can get migraines from fluorescent lighting. Uh, I I'm really overly sensitive to body temperature and my body doesn't regulate temperature well. I work best in a quiet environment with very little distractions. But because of this, I am highly self-sufficient and when left on my own to just quietly do my work, I'm one of the most productive employees you'll ever meet, I promise. Uh, I just really need from you uh, the space in order to do my work efficiently. The other thing that I will ask from you is uh, so that I can keep track of everything in the day. uh, If you have tasks that you need to give me, I may um, grab something to write with uh, and or my laptop so that I can because I can type a lot faster than I can write, and that will make sure that I get all of the details, because I can manage and control all of the details as long as I get them down somewhere, um, either in the computer or on paper. I I need your help uh, giving me time to get everything in writing, since I do have difficulty holding those details in my mind, but I guarantee you, I can keep track of all of them if you let me do it my way. (laughs) Um, So those are just a few or a couple examples of 
asking for accommodations in a job interview. Uh, it's kind of awkward and weird interviewing myself. Uh, my history is actually in recruiting and hiring, so I do have experience hiring people, uh, but I don't usually hire myself, so that's kind of weird. Uh, thank you guys. If you want to see me hire myself and do more of these mock interview videos, give me a thumbs up. And I'll do more of them. Uh, yeah, I need some practice, I feel like, on interviewing myself. It's weird. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you next week. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. I put out new videos pretty much every Wednesday. Bye.